How are you going, Leslie? Back for your 35 week ultrasound. How cool is this? Cool. It's very cool. So I'm just going to get you to check your pa patient information again. Just check your name there and your address, date of birth. Is that right? Good. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So again, we're going to just recap it for for those of those for those of you who haven't been um, watching or following Leslie's pregnancy. So her conception date was on the 30th of January this year, 2018. Feels like it was forever ago. Um, pregnancy test we did on the 14th of February. Well, that was a great day, wasn't it? Yep. And the first ultrasound we did on the 14th of March and the second um, was on the 7th of June and that was the 20-week ultrasound where we did find out that um, Leslie's baby um, does have no lower limbs. Um, but we've uh, worked around that. Everything's really great. Um, the family have all been notified and everyone's ready to accept this baby for however it is. So um, the third ultrasound, which is today, uh, 24th of September 2018. And your due date is the 24th of October. So that's going to come before we know it, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, Leslie, I just want to discuss how you're feeling. Um, how are you feeling as a whole, um, you know, health-wise? Are you feeling really, are you feeling sickly or are you feeling really healthy and positive? Really healthy and positive. <laughs> and, um, and I'm just going to have a feel of your abdomen, abdomen again. Oh, baby's head feels like it's down there, which is good. Um, I'm just going to take your blood pressure. Is that okay? Yes. So we don't need to do the blood test today because we're all up to date with everything. And um, I did do a little bit of a check on Leslie before we came in to do this video, just for personalised sakes, uh, for privacy issues, and everything is going really, really well. So just lift up your sleeve there. Getting a bit tight, tight in the sleeve, isn't it? Yep. Okay, just relax your hand there and I'll just turn this on. Okay, so that will just fill up, so that's okay. Just relax there. I'm just going to check and see everything's okay with the video. How's your arm feeling there? Bit of pressure? Yes. Yep. Okay, just make my notes. That's really good. Good to know. You are very healthy. So we're going to do the ultrasound scan in a minute. Um, we're just going to check the baby's heart rate. I'm going to do the scan just to check the sizes. As I said to you guys, I've done a few tests just before we got on to the video, just so I could see everything for myself, so I could uh, do a few calculations. So before Leslie, before you leave me today, I'll be able to tell you um, some more information, size of the baby, weight, things like that. Are you okay? Yep, can't wait to find out. I know, it's very, very exciting. So just a few things we need to talk about. Important things to remember is just remember again um, that you have control of any decisions made about the rest of your pregnancy. You're allowed to do, um, you're allowed to refuse any, you know, tests and everything. But when it comes to the, the time of labor and giving birth and everything, I do suggest you listen to me and Dr. Michael. Uh, you'll have the nurses around. Uh, Nurse Tiana should be there um, as long as she's on roster that day. And um, just, you know, take our advice the best you can and ask lots of questions. Okay. Okay, so how are you feeling after I made you drink that water? A bit full? Why are you going to the bathroom? And just hold on to that bladder a minute. I'm just going to go get my, um, my ultrasound gel. Okay, so... I've got the cream out. Let me just check how things are going. 
Does that feel okay? Hang on. Just put this over your lap just so I don't get any gel on you. How's that feel? Ooh. Good. This baby is certainly wanting to come out. So big. How do you feel with that big belly on you all the time? Tired. Tired. Okay, so I'll just put the image there and hopefully everyone will be able to see. These gloves, the nurse always gives me the extra small. Now I've got small hands, but this is like trying to get, you know, like a, I don't know, envelope into a, who knows? I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay, so actually before we get started with that, I'm just gonna check your heart rate and see how that's going. You're alive, I can tell you that. And this baby girl here. Have you got a baby name yet for your daughter? Yes, I do. Well, that's exciting. You'll have to tell me when we're not on video. Uh -huh. Okay, good. That sounds really nice. It's a little munchkin. Okay. So I'm just going to put the ultrasound gel on. a bit a little bit cold isn't it okay yeah it's a little bit cold now here we go we just watch the screen there she is mm. hopefully you can see her there we've got the 4d scan of her there oh she's having a bit of a yawn i'll get nice and close everyone so you can see that video part there but she's doing really well. Look at her, trying to suck her lip there a little bit. <laughs> so this ultrasound is really just to show everyone how she's going. I've done all the measurements before we got on video, so I can see that. And there we go. So how did you like that? So cute, isn't she? So exciting to see her. Absolutely. Now I'm just going to show you again i'll um put her there and you can just listen to her heartbeat okay so watch the image and okay. I'll show you the heartbeat listen to the heartbeat okay whoa that is so strong Oh, my baby's heartbeat. What a tiny little cookie. That's great. Okay, so I'll just turn that off. Now we'll just have a little bit of a discussion. Um, I just... Here we go. Okay, so the baby measurements at the moment. Um, when I did the measurements, as we all know that they, the baby does not have the lower limbs. So it is like 10 inches from the crown to rump. Um, that's obviously all that we can measure because there's no limbs. So 10 inches is around 25 centimetres. So the baby is still growing, so it will grow a little bit bigger than that in this next five weeks. That's basically all um, the baby is doing is growing. Um, so it's about the size of a big pineapple. So bas basically you can say you've got a nice pineapple in there, hey? <laughs> yeah. Just take that off you if that's all right. So little pineapple. Um, you certainly have felt the baby move around. And um, is it been, it's still very often, isn't it? Yes. So it's just like majorly, you, we, well, obviously with there's no kicks. So it's just a, a lot of moving, shuffling, a bit of Punching, you said. She's a puncher. Yep, she is a puncher. Okay. And she'll be practicing a lot of sucking as well. Um, as she's being prepared to be born, uh, she'll have that sucking reflex. So as soon as she's born, that'll be there. Um, so about how you're feeling and everything, um, like I said, the baby's fully formed. Um, it's just gaining weight now. Uh, so your breasts will be enlarged and really sore at the moment. Is that right? 
Yes. And you might might even have a little bit of leaking, which is just the beginning of the. Well, the colostrum sort of comes in after the baby's born, uh, but that that will just be preparing. All the milk ducts will be starting to open up, getting ready for feeding baby. Okay. Um, you might have have been have been having any headaches or anything. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So ma mainly, you've got to be having a lot of rest, just a lot of rest. You'll be more tired, feeling a bit run down. The best thing to do, you need to prepare for this birth. You've got five weeks. So literally, we don't want you getting any colds or flus. So just feet, feet up, you know, just resting. Enjoy it. Okay. Um, you might even have a bit of constipation towards the end. I don't know if that's happening yet. Uh, don't be alarmed if you get any little pains. Uh, that's completely normal. You will get Braxton Hicks. Um, pains, but you just need to uh, take your. You're right there. You just need to relax and um, and you know think through it. Um, you'll find you'll get to know what is real. You'll really know when it is real. So okay. Yep. So what next is you have to pack your bags. Have you started packing your bags yet? idea of what I'm taking with me yeah okay good and I heard that you're because of the weather and everything your baby shower was post postponed so that's coming up this week so that's really exciting I'm excited to see everything I know all your gifts and everything <laughs> yeah so also I know I say to rest a lot, but it's also good to move around as much as you can. I know that's contradicting what I'm saying, but moving around will help the baby get into position as well. So do that as much as you can, but obviously have equal or more times that you're resting. So like okay. I said, yeah, good. The, um, the, the length is about 25 centimetres. The weight, she, she is about 4 pounds, 5 ounces at the moment. So she's a really, really good weight. I'm really happy with her weight and everything. Your health is excellent. So that's awesome. The amniotic fluid, I tested that before. That is reducing. So that's all in you know, standard frames. Everything's going good. The fetal movement, fetus, well, the baby movement, it's not fetus anymore, is, um, is really, really good. We're happy with that. Um, your blood pressure was very good, 110 over 72. Um, everything's going ahead. Um, you have not engaged yet, but you can engage any day now. The baby is just going to get itself into position and it will engage. And, and sometimes some mums actually know it. They feel that the baby almost drops and everything feels to be in place. Um, I wanted to talk about the birth with you. I'll just get my other paperwork. All right, so right from the beginning, you've said you're, that you're happy, you know, that the birth prog progresses any way that is the safest for the baby. Um, yes. As we know, you know, a lot of a lot of work I mean that our body does itself when we're giving birth I mean you can have a, a lady that's actually in a coma and she can give birth without pushing or anything because our body does all the work but the baby does do a little bit of work as well and that is normally it has the push reflex with the legs um, and obviously this little baby girl doesn't have her little legs to push um, herself out um, so your body will help push her out, but I just wanted to ask, you know, if, if this, if we're labouring for too long, are you happy that we go to caesarean? Yes, that's fine. Okay, because I think, well, I, I don't, haven't had a lot of experience with the babies that have been born without the lower limbs, uh, but from my experience, it always does turn into a caesarean. So just be aware that that could be happening. Um, I'll keep you you know really up to date along the way so and you know we'll really look for look after you it's nothing to be afraid of you know you've just got to keep your eye on the prize and that is when she is born that's all we need to keep an eye on okay perfect
Okay, and of course when, when the baby is born, there will be a paediatrician with us who will check the baby over straight away to make sure that um, everything we've been seeing, the health of her and everything is still all perfect and we have nothing to worry about. You'll be in hospital for a few days while we monitor yourself um, because of your limitations. We want to make sure that you're all healthy as well and then also the baby's um, how it progresses over the first few days. Um, so all we have to do now is have this baby. So 24th of October is when you're due. Now remember I say that to you all the time. That doesn't mean that's the day it's going to be born. Um, and for, for those of you following uh, Leslie in this journey on YouTube, I'll put a link below uh, to one of our great, one of Leslie's babies aunts terry who's having a baby pool so you can go to her channel which i'll put below um go to that actual video that i'll put the link and you can try to have your guests yourself and win a prize so that's kind of exciting i love how your friends have all rallied together and are doing that that will be really fun but yeah like i said remember 24th doesn't mean it's its birthday it could come early it could come late this is a natural birth we're going to let it pro progress naturally unless you get unwell in that time um, everything is basically just going to go to plan and we'll just wait, sit it out and wait for it to happen. Okay, can't wait. Okay, so keep in touch. Um, stay right. close to family and if you have any questions, you know my phone number, ring me straight away. Even if you think you're in labour, I'll sit with you on the phone for a bit. We'll, we'll time it and we'll work out what happens before you actually come into the hospital. Okay, perfect. Okay, so the next time I'm going to see you is around your due date where I'll give you another checkup. Good. And in the meantime, just, you know, pop to your GP if any other questions. All right. Okay, so are you happy with everything today, Leslie? Yes. Great. Okay, then. Well, we'll see you next time. Take care and say hello to Marco for me. I will. Bye.